which actually brought me in sales. I think I made like $30,000 off this one TikTok video, which I was not expecting. I'm like, okay, I cracked the code, baby. We, we figured it out. This is working. When I first started doing this, I said, oh yeah, this is it. This is the money right here. This is the money right here. Oh, TikTok likes this. We're gonna keep doing that. All right, they asking for the queen. I'm a bad bitch, she's a savage. Look, look, look back while I talk. No comparison. I'm a savage. Yeah. Classy, bougie, magic. Yeah. Sassy, moody, hey, man, hey. Yeah. Acting stupid, what was happening? Yeah. Bitch, what was happening? What's up, boss babes? Welcome back to another video. Y'all, this video is going to be amazing, if I do say so myself. And I'm not just saying it because it's me, okay? We're gonna be talking about TikTok. Um, I haven't done a lot of videos on TikTok, so this was necessary. I'm all the way over here because I'm gonna be sharing my screen on my phone very soon. And basically telling y'all exactly how I have accumulated over 90,000 followers on TikTok and over 10 million views in less than two months. It actually took me approximately 43 days to do this. And I am literally going to tell y'all exactly what I did. No catch, literally just giving the tea. It is 10 things that I can honestly say completely accelerated my growth on TikTok and y'all can do these exact things and see some growth. It doesn't matter what your TikTok is about at all you can apply these things and I'm about to give it to y'all. And we are going to do these in order of what truly, truly, truly set the tone and made a difference on this TikTok account. So I'm gonna save the best for last, obviously. So let's just hop into the video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let's get started. All right, y'all, so this TikTok account is my Jazzline Yay account. This was the account that I was using basically for the same type of content that I post here on YouTube, educational content around e-commerce and online business and things like that. So I wanna show y'all my old videos first because as you can see, I was not getting a lot of views, like it just wasn't hitting and I wasn't consistent either. So what I started out doing at first was I took clips from my YouTube videos and were just repurposing them on TikTok and I wasn't seeing a lot of traction doing that. And then I had one video hit and it hit over 50,000 views. So I was like, what set this video apart? And it was actually the content that I chose to put on TikTok. That segment of the video is what grabs people's attention. So that's when I quickly learned that TikTok is all about the hook. It's all about those first few seconds. If you can grasp people's attention, that's how you win. If you don't have your notebook out yet, I need you to get it out now. All right, cause I'm gonna be moving pretty fast. I don't want this video to be super drawn out for no reason. So as y'all can see, kept repurposing the content from YouTube. I would say about, I played around with the time, about 30 to 60 seconds to kind of see what worked and it just wasn't doing it for me. So I got off TikTok. I was like, this is not worth my time. The views were low, only in the few hundreds and it was not getting any engagement really. So girl, I just, I just let it rest. Until I noticed when I switched it up a little bit just by studying the platform, y'all, I love to study things, okay? I'm gonna study it all. And I noticed that there were certain types of videos that would always do great numbers if they followed this specific formula. So I tested it out. So y'all can see my old content. Now let's get into the content that was actually working, which was the remainder of the content that I posted. I have literally hit millions of views on a video, hundreds of thousands of views on a video. For me, I view TikTok as a lead funnel. My goal is not really to convert people from TikTok is to lead them somewhere else to convert them. You get what I'm saying? So let's get into the top 10 things, y'all, that I did that completely grew and blew my TikTok up. And I'm actually not even on TikTok right now because I don't have an answer for you. So the first thing I wanna mention is I focus on trendy sounds, okay? So I knew that this was basically like a cheat code because if a sound is already performing well and people are already looking it up and people are already utilizing it, that's just basically giving yourself a head start in terms of engagement on the video. So most of my videos on here, the initial video was just a trending sound with words on the screen. So let's talk about the words on the screen. Every single video, has words on the screen and they're not captions. So I wasn't talking in these videos, y'all. 
I was literally just doing the sound. Most of the time, I'm not doing anything. Those are the videos I saw perform the best. The videos where you aren't doing nothing perform the best. And I'm just like, what in the world? My first video that hit a million views is sitting at 1.9 million views now. I was literally just staring at an invisible person in my room. This video is three seconds long, okay? Now, remember how I said the title? The text on the screen is so important. Most people on TikTok are looking for text on screen. A lot of people have disabilities, so they appreciate when you have text on screen or captions on the screen. So when I started noticing this, I was like, every video needs to have text on the screen. But more importantly than that, is I started paying attention to the psychology of the viewer, right? I in no way, shape or form did I expect this video to hit a million views. I think the first day it had 300,000 views. And I was like, what the hell is going on? So my formula, y'all, I'm telling y'all, I'm giving y'all the T. Do you hear me? The T. I, like, l let's go. Let's just do it. The formula I used was to leave it on a cliffhanger. A cliffhanger meaning I'm not putting too much into the text on the screen because I want you to comment. I want you to be like, well, how did you do this? And how did you do that? Right? That's, that's the whole point. We talked about this a little bit in the video I posted on how to make any amount of money in your business, whether it's 5,000, 10,000, 20, 60, 70, 80. We talked about that. Okay, so if y'all didn't watch that video, go ahead and watch that video after you finish with this one. But that was the formula for all my videos initially was to use trending sounds and put text on screen that would leave it on a cliffhanger, y'all. Don't let that go over your head. Another thing that I did that was really helpful to accumulate more views for my other videos was I utilized the playlist option that TikTok has. I think there is a certain amount of followers that you have to have before you can like unlock this feature. I'm not sure. Definitely utilize playlists. Like if you have a business, if you have a brand, if you're just doing funny videos, if people are into that type of content you're posting, then they'll have a playlist of where they can just watch your other videos without sorting through them on your page. So that came in handy. A lot of people like that and I could see my views. When a video would take off, I could see the views for the other videos in that playlist taking off as well just because I had the playlist. So this next thing I wanna mention y'all, this is something that I completely saw a difference in the growth of this TikTok account was I was posting a lot, a lot, okay? And I'm gonna tell you how I did this. I was posting at minimum three to five times per day. And I know you're probably like, oh my God, that's a lot. But one thing about TikTok, baby, you better utilize those drafts. You better use those drafts, y'all. I would literally sit for like an hour or two, knock out a whole bunch of TikToks and just don't post them. I'll just save them to the draft. So I would always have content. I would literally have hundreds of drafts at any moment I had content ready to go. And it's not like YouTube or Instagram where, you know, every post you gotta have yourself dialed up, you have to be dressed up, you gotta look cute. Baby, TikTok don't care about none of that. You could film yourself in the same place with the same outfit on 20 times, it don't matter. Listen, y'all, get out your head. TikTok is not like any other platform. You can be you. They're craving that, they crave that authenticity. So, posting three to five times per day took it took it to the next level because TikTok was like, oh, you're not messing around. You here to be serious, we got you. So I know without a doubt, me uploading more consistently on that platform made a difference. This has something to do with consistency, but I don't know how to explain this very well. It's more of like a gut feeling and I hope that I can articulate this properly where y'all understand what I'm trying to say. Okay, so I will create these videos, right? And I will save them as drafts. I started to notice that for every third video on that fourth or that fifth video, that would be the video that would take off. So I almost produced like filler videos, if y'all know what I mean. Like let's say for example, I had a video that I really wanted to do well, that wouldn't be the first video I will upload that day. It would be like the fourth. Hopefully y'all get what I'm trying to say. I really don't. It was like more of an intuition thing. It would be like, all right, let's post our first three videos a few hours apart. But this video that I really want to do well, we're going to post that towards like 6 or 7 p.m. when people are getting off of work and just kind of utilizing things that I've just, I just know from experience of the actual day of a viewer, right? So in the morning times, people are getting ready for work or getting ready for school. So they're not as active, but around lunchtime, 
and around, you know, when they're getting off of work and then around at 9, 10 p.m. when they're getting ready for bed and you just sitting in your bed on your phone. Those are just certain things I just know from experience, so I would play around with that as well. And we're gonna get into that a little bit later with the posting times, cause baby, let me tell y'all, that's a gym gym, okay? Now, before I continue, y'all, I want to tell you that I know a lot of y'all struggle with content creation. I get it, but for me, I love content creation. I love coming up with the ideas. I love seeing it through. So I am hosting a brainstorming session Saturday, June 17th at 11 a.m. Central, and it is very limited. I want everybody to have a moment to chime in and we can brainstorm and we can brain dump and we can literally just exchange ideas. So if you want to be in that room, you can secure your seat at the link in the description. Y'all, it's first come, first serve. So I would honestly pause this video right now, go grab your seat and then come back. Because if you wait, by the time this video is over, there may not be any seats left. All right, so I am thinking about doing this once a month on different topics, but this first one will be about content creation and we'll go from there. You better get on your Zoom. What's a TikTok? You better get on your Zoom. <laughs> you got to get on your Zoom. Every morning you got to get on your Zoom at 10. All right, y'all, so the next thing that I did and I noticed right away made a difference from what I wasn't doing before is I actually focused on the cover image for my video. So, you know, kind of like Instagram where when you upload a reel, you have to choose the cover image. And most people don't think that far. You have to think that far, y'all. So if you're looking on my TikTok account, every single video has words on it. So it's basically kind of telling you either what the video is about or just a preview of that text that I created for that video. This is very, very important. Think of yourself when you go on a new TikTok account. What makes you click on a video? It's the image. It's just like YouTube, it's the thumbnail. So don't skip that step. It's just kind of like that, that thing that you have to just account for when you are creating the video and editing the video. Speaking of editing, all right, y'all, let's get into it. So I edited most of my videos inside of TikTok. That is another thing. I think TikTok just favored my videos because they like, you're doing it directly from the source. So if we talk about the videos that I created using trending sound, that was obviously directly from TikTok. I needed to use the exact sound that was already trending and you know, going viral. So I had to do it from TikTok. Another thing that I noticed is when I would use certain features in the platform, that would boost the video as well, right? So if we look at the first video I have on my page, I utilize the green screen. I was basically talking about YouTube automation and how, you know, how to make $10,000 a month or more with YouTube automation. And I gave examples of different channels and I did this with green screen. So that video performed extremely well. That video has 300,000 views right now. Let's look at the engagement. It has 300,000 views, 25,000 likes, 240 comments, and 14,000 saves. Okay, like what? And then another video, which is my one of my best converting videos, which actually brought me in sales. I think I made like $30,000 off this one TikTok video, which I was not expecting. This video, I also did a green screen and I was basically showing my journey of how I first started selling digital products. I made $100 my first month and then I showed the journey of scaling that to $100,000 a month. So I did that with green screen. That video also has 300,000 views, over 30,000 likes, over 300 comments and over 19,000 saves. Like. I'm like, okay, I cracked the code, baby. We, we figured it out. This is working. And I always tell y'all, you don't have to do a million things. You just gotta test some things out, double down on what's working and forget what ain't working. Hello? So I already noticed, okay, boom, me doing these trending sounds is popping off. Mm -hmm, we're gonna keep doing that. When I use features and I edit from TikTok, that's giving me a little boost. We're gonna keep doing that. I'm being consistent and TikTok really likes that. We're gonna keep doing that. You know, so it's just about finding what works, y'all. But I'm telling y'all, it don't matter what you do, baby. If you do one, two, three of these things, if you all 10 of them, 
Mm, you're gonna be good. And I told y'all, this happened in less than two months. This took 43 days. I literally screenshotted my growth. One thing about me, I'm addicted to the growth. I'm addicted to the journey and the process. And I love to just document it. So I'm gonna share that with y'all as well. But let's move on to the number four thing, okay? The number four thing, y'all, we getting close to the gym. We getting close to the goal. We're getting so close. Number four is I replied to comments in video form. Y'all, this by far, when I first started doing this, I said, oh yeah, this is it. This is the money right here. This is the money right here. Oh, TikTok likes this. We're gonna keep doing that. And one thing that I love that TikTok has is the option to favorite comment. So let's say you see a comment and you wanna respond to it, but you don't wanna lose it. All you gotta do is favorite it, baby. And there's a whole section for your favorites and you can see all the comments that you have previously favorited. So you can just go back and respond to it when you have the time, when you, you know, filming all your videos and you put them in the draft. Y'all, I'm telling you. <laughs> That combination, baby, of utilizing the trending sounds, y'all, tapping into the psychology of people, leaving them on a cliffhanger. Don't give them too much. Don't give them too much. You don't have to put everything in one video. Let that go. This ain't Instagram. This ain't YouTube, okay? It's TikTok. All right, and then replying to their comments with a video, y'all. The two-piece combo, we're gonna call it a two-piece combo, y'all. <laughs> that two-piece combo is deadly. Do you hear me? Deadly. Because when you utilize TikTok's features, they like that. Like they want you to use the features they made. Like, hello, that's why it's there. You know what I'm saying? Some of my most viewed videos are literally me responding to comments. This video, 123,000 views. All right, so let's move on to number three. I said this video wasn't gonna be too long, y'all. So number three is I played around with the posting times. What I'm about to tell y'all is going to blow your mind because it blew my mind. Maybe it won't blow your mind because y'all know I'm over dramatic. Play around with the posting time. That video I made, my first million view video that's sitting now at 1.9 million views, I posted that at midnight, at midnight. What I used to do on Instagram two, three years ago is I played around with posting time. And if you are an OG boss bay, you already know this. I started posting at 12 o'clock, 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m., 6 a.m. For the night owls, if everybody on a platform, hear me out, hear me out. If everybody on a platform is posting during the day, it's so much noise, so much noise. And here you come, posting in the middle of the night for all the people that's up, for all the people that are in other parts of the world. Hello, there's your video waiting to be grabbed up. I told y'all that first day it got like 300,000 views. I was like, what the hell? Remember what I said, y'all, you double down on what's working. So you mean to tell me if I post at 12, I'm gonna get 300,000 views, I'm gonna post at 12 again. Uh, hello? Hello? My most viewed video, which is sitting at 7 million views, was posted at 3 a.m. 3 a.m. I posted it, and one thing about it, you can't schedule posts on TikTok, baby. You gotta be up. Guess what I was doing? I was setting alarms. I was setting alarms. Wake up at 3 a.m. and post this video. Go back to sleep, wake up, and you got hundreds of thousands of views. Y'all, this is, it's right here. I'm not making it up, it's right here. You see it, hello? That seven million viewed video brought so much hate, so many trolls, but do you think I care? You think I care? Because that seven million viewed video also has 753 thousand likes y'all that's almost a million likes that's also a four second video with the text on the screen tapping into psychology are y'all hearing me i'm giving you the gems this may be my favorite video thus far because it can literally change your life this is a video that if you apply what i'm telling y'all you can see results instantly i got a lot of gems on my channel but most of them take work and take time this ain't one of them baby you can do this today okay you can be up 10,000 more followers this next week if y'all are paying attention, if y'all are taking y'all notes, if y'all want this big bank. So that video also has 2,600 comments. I probably have blocked at least a thousand people from this video though. And over 235,000 downloads. What? I ain't gonna lie though, after I posted that video, I took a break. I was like, oh, TikTok is too much. Uh-uh. Y'all know I just like my little hub, my people who know me. 
Because the other thing about TikTok, I'm gonna tell y'all that's at the end. Let's 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 run through the rest. Sorry, y'all. Y'all know I like to talk. So number two, woo, we getting down to the final two, y'all. These two things, baby, change everything. You hear me? Changed everything. The number two thing is I was very strategic with my pinned videos. So you get up to three videos that you can pin at the top of your page. And people would just pin anything. People, a lot of the times people will pin their most viral TikTok. Like that's the only, like they want you to know, I got a million views. No baby, uh-uh. Be very strategic with the pinned video. So one of my pinned videos is a video of me replying to somebody's comment in a video. And she's commented, I be gatekeeping with the info. I'm like, me? Jazz on yay? Jazz on yay? You can't be talking about me, gatekeeper who? Who, who, who baby, who? Gatekeeper, me? Me, girl, I was in shock. I was like, I was stunned. I was too stunned to speak, okay? Anyways, I took that as an opportunity to use my TikTok features and I brought out the green screen. Yeah, and I talked my shit and I showed my channel, Gatekeeper Who, baby. I'm the queen of the resources. Are you serious right now? So anyways, that is my pinned video. That video brought me over 9,000 new subscribers, okay? Because it was pinned at the top of my page. Are y'all picking up what I'm putting down, please? If y'all are picking this up, can I get some gems? Can I get some hearts? Can I get some sprinkle sprinkles in the comment? Like, let, give me something to let me know y'all here with me right now, okay? That video has over 82,000 views. 82,000 views. And another thing I would do is I would promote my pinned videos in my other videos. So I'd be like, you know, check out the pinned video for more info. So I'm sending traffic every day as I'm uploading new videos. Y'all get, get what I'm saying? Y'all get what I'm saying? And then another pinned video, that's the other one with the journey of how I, you know, started making $100 my first month selling digital products. That stayed there because that brought in like 30K from me promoting my products in a way of using the green screen again. Y'all don't let that go over your head. Use your pinned video strategically. Don't just put your most viral video on there because you want people to know you get views. We don't care about that, okay? To piggyback off of that, another thing I would do is if I was uploading videos around a certain topic, like I was talking about YouTube automation for a while, I would have one of those pinned videos about YouTube automation that you know I may have done a lot of information on it. And then my other videos, I'm pointing you back to that video, raising the views, pointing you back. You get what I'm saying? Hopefully y'all understand what I'm saying. This would change somebody's life. Ah. <sighs> Moving on to number one, y'all. Number one, I'm really giving it to y'all. Do y'all hear me? I, if you have not gave this video a thumbs up, I'm about to come through the screen, cause I see you. And I don't care if you're on your phone watching from Safari, you better go to the YouTube app, okay? On your TV, okay? Give this video a thumbs up, please, thank you. That lets me know y'all at least enjoyed it. Maybe you too lazy to comment, that's fine. But you can at least hit that that thumb, like be for real. The number one thing, y'all. I don't know where I first heard this, but I saw it in somebody's TikTok video. I can't remember the creator, I'm so sorry. Someone said that the more time somebody watches your TikTok video, the more TikTok pushes it out. That's why those videos are shorter than seven seconds perform the best, because most people will watch it again and watch it again. So that's two to three views per person. So what that tells me, little old me, is that I need people to watch this over and over. So if I'm putting text on the screen, hello y'all, listen. If you ain't picked up nothing else I said, I need you to pick this up. Mm -hmm. What that told me is I'm only leaving text on screen for three to four seconds at a time. So if I'm doing something in a video and I got multiple texts I'm putting on screen, it's only stand up three seconds. That first part, three seconds. Boom, here comes the next part, three seconds. Cause you miss it. You only, you can't even finish reading it. Guess what you gotta do? Watch it over. Devious mastermind. But seriously, y'all, that's number one. And people comment, I can't read it, I have to watch it three times. Mm-hmm, sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle, y'all, sprinkle, sprinkle. So those things is what allowed me 
to gain over 90,000 followers in 43 days. Over 10 million views. And money was made. Y'all know I'm, a, I'm gonna get the money. So I don't really care about those numbers. We care about the bag. So again, if y'all want to get on your Zoom and kick it with me on Zoom and we can brainstorm some content ideas for you, I need you to go secure your seat Saturday, June 17th, 11 a.m. Central Time. Okay, y'all gonna have to check your own time zone to see when that is. You have to be there, you have to be present. If you are not available, do not get a seat and take that seat from somebody else, please. Please don't do that, because there will not be a replay. Even for you, if you in there, there's no replay. So show up on time and be alert and be present. I'll see y'all on y'all Zoom. Now, another thing I wanna know about TikTok is I am pivoting. I am moving in a new direction. This is my last year creating educational content. So I am already, you know, planning that transition. And I will be transitioning my TikTok. So I'm not really sure how this is gonna go, but so far so good. I'm pivoting away from the trending sounds and everything basically that I just told y'all because of the new content I will be creating. Now there's more than one way to skin a cat, y'all, okay? Trending sounds work. I showed you proof is in the pudding, baby. But other things also work. And another thing that really works on TikTok is storytelling. And I tend to exceed at that as well. Mm-hmm, talk my shit, yeah, yeah. I love storytelling. I love getting people riled up. I love waiting for the climax. I love just being animated when I talk about things and TikTok loves that. So I already have a video on my TikTok account of basically my move out the country. I already gave y'all my little life update. I do not live in America. If you don't know, I actually live in Mexico right now. And I basically did a video on that and it performed very well. So that is the new type of content that I will be transitioning into. And remember how I also said that I was editing these videos inside of TikTok, but for that type of content, absolutely not. Absolutely not. I won't be doing it. So those videos are edited outside of TikTok. I also have another TikTok account that I don't use nearly as much, but I have a video on that one as well that had like 160,000 views and it was also a storytelling like type of video where I was going to get my hair done and I set it up to where, you know, I knew people was gonna think it wasn't gonna come out well and it came out beautifully. But storytelling is extremely valuable on TikTok and that is the new pivoted direction I'm going in. And like I said, y'all, I won't be editing these on TikTok, I'll be editing them outside of the app. So if you really don't know how to edit, if you are a complete beginner a platform that is super super good for beginners is in video i talked about in video in a different video of mine where it was a sponsored video from them but their editing software is literally like chef's kiss if you don't know nothing about nothing because they actually give you video templates that you can literally use and just plug in your videos and go from there. And you got a beautiful video, look like somebody professional did it. So I'll leave their information in the description. Something else that they're doing, I haven't seen yet, and I may do a different video on this because it's about AI and I'm trying to talk about AI more, but girl, it's just so much to keep up with in the AI space. They actually have something I have not seen, y'all. It's phenomenal, but it's terrifying because it's like, damn, the future is here. But they basically have a video editing AI which will allow you to create videos by basically just telling AI what you want it to do, what you want to see in the video. They're light years ahead of anybody with that technology, so I will leave their information in the description, y'all. I think the AI editing is still on the wait list. I'm on the wait list. I'm like, I need that. Definitely look into that, y'all. Use InVideo. Again, I have a whole nother video on my channel about InVideo, and I'll link that in the description as well. I said I was going to show y'all my journey, and if you want to see that, I'll just put that here. So I literally have an album titled TikTok Growth and it was about my TikTok. July 2022, I had 104 followers and that was me, like I said, y'all, basically repurposing my YouTube videos and just putting it on TikTok. No traction. I was doing that for a while getting a little growth, a little growth, little by little. Doing that is what got me my first thousand followers. And that took about one week to hit a thousand. One week, one week, okay? Now, if we go to when I decided to switch it up, I was hitting five, 10,000 followers in days, in days. It's like, what the hell is going on? Y'all can just see here how the number is literally just going up. One day, I went from 3,300 followers to 9,000. Y'all can see the date. November 16th to November 17th. That's 6,000 followers in one day. And you can even see the likes go up. It went from 31,000 likes to 95,000 likes. And then that same day I hit 10K and it went to 103,000 likes. And then the next day I hit 15K. 
And then the next day I hit 18K. And then the next day, 19K. Two days later, 24K. <laughs> One week later, I was at 40,000. Y'all, it's just crazy. So yeah, it took 43 days. And I have not been as consistent because like I said, y'all, TikTok is just real, you know, it's a younger crowd um, and it is people who don't know you and they're just looking for something to complain about most times. And girl, I don't be for all that. Like, mm -mm, I've been needing my breaks. But I do believe that it was also due to the nature of the content I'm creating because it is about making money. And they just perceive that type of content now in such a negative light, which is also another reason I wanna get out of this space because it's like, yeah, you can sit here and listen to me for free with no problem, but the minute I tell you I have an actual class for sale with even more valuable information now, now, now the world is ending. It's just a different energy over there. And I'm hoping that with me transitioning more into travel and more into fashion and more into lifestyle content, that I will attract a different breed. I'm hoping that. Y'all can stay up to date with my TikTok journey. You know, if you wanna follow me, if you aren't already, that's fine. I'm ending this video, y'all. It was not supposed to be this long, girl. I got carried away, but I hope y'all enjoyed it nonetheless. All the links are in the description and I will see y'all in my next video. Mwah.